For 55 years, the Big Carlos Pass Bridge here in Bonita Springs has connected Lover's Key to Fort Myers Beach, but now the county says it's in need of an upgrade, despite the worries from some about the trouble a new bridge could bring to Estero Bay. This is one of the most biodiverse ecosystems in the world and it's very delicate. You, you can't just go running tons of boats through there. Lover's Key in Bonita Springs is one of John Pano's favorite places to kayak. And it's become a ecotourism generator. I mean, it, it generates millions of dollars every year in ecotourism. Big Carlos Pass here is home to this half century old drawbridge, a popular spot for boaters. Let's leave the bay alone. Let's not let bigger boats in here. Let's not build a bigger bridge. But a bigger bridge is exactly what's on the county's agenda, at the cost of $56.8 million split evenly with the state. The county tells me replacing this drawbridge with a taller one will save maintenance money in the long run. John worries that would open up the door to more boat traffic. Probably widening the bridge would be more appropriate, but not, uh, not making it more accessible for uh, boaters into the bay. And it does need maintenance. Two years ago, NBC2 investigators sent a diver down to explore the erosion around the pilings, only to find holes large enough to fit a nurse shark. I know they can do a lot of restoration work on this bridge and yet make it wider if they wanted to, too. The county says the bridge is still safe. Still, they'll replace it and have no plans to allow further dredging of Estero Bay. The bay has already suffered dramatically. Over, since 2017, between Irma, red tide, uh, the bay is really in rough shape. Construction could start as early as 2022. In Bonita Springs, Alex Howard, NBC2.